Welcome back. Two Works For You's Problem Solvers are here. I am with our team right now, including anchor Corey Duke, taking your calls and getting you answers when no one else will. You can call the number. It's scrolling at the bottom of your screen right now. And tonight, Corey investigates after a disabled woman, desperate for help, says she was left without heat when her serviceman stopped responding to her calls, and she joins me now. Yeah, that's right, Brian called the problem solvers she was just sobbing on the phone asking if our team could help her before that cold winter hit and we found her answers I keep it spotless just like my yard buckling floors yeah see a tub truck right here and here and limited access to rooms it broke my heart when all this stuff started happening I didn't know what I was going to do. Can't get in there or It's in the here. aftermath of a fix-it job done by a local heating and air company. Landra Rabier says she needed work done to her AC unit. He came and got it going with not everything he needed. He just kind of bypassed stuff and said he would come back when the weather got cold and, and fix it. But the technician never returned and Landra couldn't afford other services. I thought I was never going to get help. It was, it was just broken. And to make matters worse, the botched job caused damage to a home built by Landra's father. In the early 70s, he built this house, and with every nail he drove, he was telling me how much he loved me. Her story is one of achievement. Born with polio, Landra overcame the odds, working as a nurse until her health declined. Now she lives on a fixed income. I get $700 a month is what I live on. Landra describes herself as a simple woman and says giving is what makes her happy. When we help other people, God works in mysterious ways and he always gives back to you. You always get, that's how we get our blessings back. As it turns out, Landra was right. The problem solvers heard her story and made some calls. Yeah, it's going to be a lot better. <laughs> Just we'll get plumbing stepped in. Without hesitation, the Mullen crew offered their services. He's wired around that whole control board down there and stuff. Mm -hmm replacing so her we'll entire the unit. Board, for Landra, this means... Everything. Everything. Almost speechless, her tears I now tell a different water, story. Water. One of gratefulness, happiness, and faith. Thank you, guys. I feel like I owe you. I, I, I'm in debt to all of you. Mullen Plumbing not only You're gave welcome. this woman back oh, her heat you. during thank a cold you. winter, it's gonna be a gave lot her better. back her pride. In the home... I feel both of them in here all the time. Her parents built just for her. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that reaction right there is why we do what we do. That's right. It's so important to us. All of us here are really passionate about this. We're ready to help. And a lot of these problems, uh, you know, they affect people's livelihoods. So we want you to know we are on your side. We will go to bat for you. Corey, myself, along with reporters Travis Guillory and Katie Wisely, determined to help solve your problem. You can call the number on your screen anytime or send an email to problemsolvers at kgrh.com.